Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Croft Studios here, and today I am here with a uh, pretty interesting video. Haven't done anything like this in quite some time, but um, currently one of the projects I'm working on is creating instructions for my LEGO Ninjago mocks. Now, um, it's not an easy task to make instructions. Um, a lot of people use LEGO... Um, they use a Lego uh, digital designer um, application to do this, but personally, um, I don't like it because uh, the instructions turn out very badly on there, and they're not in order. A lot of things are messed up on them. Um, so basically, what I'm doing now is uh, I can I have the skills to make instructions for all of these, and I have made one so far that I'm going to use as an example to show you guys how I've been doing it, and. Uh, but right now I'm actually looking for help to work on these. Um, I would really like some people to help me work on these and uh, it would be greatly appreciated. I'd give shout outs. I'd, uh, you know, I'm not sure what people want, um, but if you guys are good with um, creating Lego instructions for things, um, let me know. So I'm gonna get straight into the qualifications. I'm kind of making a little team, I guess you could call it, to work on these with because um, I'm in college and I've got a lot of other stuff. I'm working on mocks. Um, we're doing lots of other projects and things like that. So obviously I'm going to be working on this, but I am not going to have a lot of time to do it. And uh, the process of doing it is kind of long and grueling. Um, so I am looking for help to work on these. And it would be greatly appreciated if uh, we could, because uh, the more instructions there are, um, the more people can build these creations. And I'm really looking forward to getting to working on them. And I have completed one of them. Um, like I said, I actually have 3D models of 12 Ninjago mocks that are completed already. I just need them put into a new program, rebuilt into proper steps, and then built into instructions, which I would do. So pretty much I'm looking for people to take these 3D models, use their very uh, kind of odd instructions that, they, that are from LEGO Digital Designer, because these are all LEGO Digital Designer files. So you will take these files, go in, you will rebuild these in L LCAD, which is actually a um, CAD program uh, for Legos. And there, I'll explain how it's all done and what you'll need to do if you want to do this. Um, and if you actually are serious about doing this, um, you, can sit, you can comment down in the comments below that you'll actually do want to help and I can get everyone in a group. And we can talk about it and I can explain to everyone how I do it and how you guys can help. So I'm really looking for help on this. So I guess I'll get straight into it. I'm going to share my screen and um, I'm going to show you guys basically what I've been doing. So right here we've just got my channel. I thought I'd show that to start off. But basically this is the end result. I guess I'll show you guys that first. This is the end result of what I'm looking for. Right here we have a parts list um, of my stuff. Now this is the work I'll be doing. You guys won't have to worry about this when I'm working on this. If I do end up getting help from any of you guys, um, this is just a parts list of one of the Ninjago mocks I've made. So these are the parts that you'll need to build this set. And you can see I've organized it by um, part number, color, and quantity. So it'll be relatively easy for you guys to look up, but I'm sure you guys can just look at the picture and figure out what parts you guys need. But I figured I'd put the part number and everything you need in case someone can't figure out what's going on in the picture. Um, and these are from Lyco Digital Designer. So these are uh, pretty easy to do. Um, actually, the the part numbers and all this down here is from Digital Designer. This image is actually from Lego um, LD View. Now, the thing about this is that you need multiple programs to do it, but you guys will only need to download two programs because I'll be doing most of the work when it comes to the instructions. You guys won't need to worry about that. It's just about recreating these in 3D views and doing it properly. So. If you guys would be want want to do that, if you guys would be willing to help with that, I am very open to it because I'm super busy. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on, um, including four classes in college, and um, one of them is actually a 3D modeling class. So I'm learning a lot about this stuff as we speak as well. So this is uh, another parts list right here. That's also this is from Lego Digital Designer. Now you can see this one's a lot better, but I'm having trouble figuring out a way to share this with you guys. Um, this exact file right here and it's kind of lengthy and long but you can see all the parts are there I basically copied all this into a text and put it onto here for you guys along with this picture of all the parts so now that we've got that 
um, I can show you guys the the actual programs that you'll need to do this. So, and I have all the links for these in the comment in the description down below. So, the first thing you'll need is Lego Digital Designer. Um, this program is pretty easy to use. I'm sure most people, will, even if you're not super techy, I'm sure a lot of people will be able to figure this out. But the only reason you'll need this is so you can have the original file that I'm going to send. Um, I actually designed a lot of stuff in Lego Digital Designer, which I will send that file over, and then you will open that file in Lego CAD because Lego CAD allows you to open Lego Digital Designer files. Now, you won't be able to directly import them into there, unfortunately, because it's a step process and you have to actually build it from scratch, but you can at least have this file open it up, and I'll show you how that works. So, uh, let's go, for example, let's go to my design projects. I'm going to go to the one that I just finished. I'm going to open the file. Um, this is what Digital Designer looks like right here. This is 4.3. Um, and you don't need internet to run it. You can see I click OK right here. Let's see. It's kind of malfunctioning a little bit. I might have too many things open. Let's hope this doesn't crash on me. We've got a lot of stuff open right now. This might be what's going on. Come on. I have to open Task Manager. Uh-oh. It's flipping out. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, we can open this up, Treehorn. So you can see I have... This is just a set that I decided to do first. Volume's a bit loud. Let me turn that down. But basically, this is the um, 3D model of the tree horn. And uh, basically, what you guys will be doing is uh, you will see this file. And then in the upper right-hand corner up here, there's a building guide mode where you can go to the instructions for it. And it will actually show you how to build the set. The views are not great, but you can see how the set is built. I've already done this one, um, so it'll be different sets that I've built. And I've also made renovations to a lot of them to make them much better. So this is basically just how it'll work. Now you can see the instructions. I would be okay with instructions just from these, but the problem is, is a lot of these instructions go out of order with their pieces, and the pieces just don't properly go in the correct order. You can see their studs kind of open right here when there's actually supposed to be. I'm not sure if this is a, an exact spot. You can see right here, there's studs right up here where there should be pieces, and look at. You can see the instructions just don't really make a lot of sense. They kind of go out of order and there's just pieces everywhere and not even good camera angles. So this is why I'm actually redoing them. So basically I'll send you guys the raw file of this and you guys are going to have to build it based off of these instructions. Unfortunately, it's the best I can do right now. Um, but I'm sure you guys are smart enough to figure it out. I did it with one of mine already. Um, it took me a bit of time, but I got used to it. So basically you will take those files and you will be opening it in another program, which let me open that up. So basically the second program you'll need is LDCAD. And I also have the download for this as well. LDCAD is basically a CAD program for building Legos and it's awesome program. I really love this program. Um, the only problem is, is they don't really have a specific instruction uh, booklet program and it doesn't you know they it's it's not official Lego this is like actually built by someone I'm pretty sure but you can see they have all the updates here and uh, you can download as well so if you need to download you can see you can download whatever version you want to get um, it doesn't really matter I just downloaded the newest one um, you can see it actually updated in April of 2020 so this is the 9.95 so I'll show you what that looks like now um, basically LCAD uh, let me just exit this out. Okay, so this is a full 3D model in LCAD. Now, if you guys don't know how to use this program, um, it's a little confusing when you're first using it, but I can give you guys tips and pointers if you guys are serious about doing this. Um, so if you guys do want to do this, I can give you the tips and pointers of how to set up uh, your preferences and things like that while you're building, show you some tips and tricks of how to use this program and uh, how to get around it and how to actually create the instructions from this program or the steps for the instructions because the way this goes is uh, 
there's multiple models you can see over here like we have the model of the mouth we have the model of um, looks like part of the leg we can have one of the legs here basically there's a step-by-step -step process for this you can see the parts being removed as I go back steps and you basically build it in steps so you'll you'll basically uh, figure out what pieces you want to add in one step and you basically get to decide it yourself which is really cool um, so ba that is how it works obviously I'll explain a lot more in detail if you do want to help um, we'll all get together in maybe a group call and some type of Skype call of some sort and I'll be able to explain all of it to you guys and give you guys a really nice breakdown of how to use the program um, obviously I'll be working on these as well um, there's 12 models so there's a lot of a lot of models to go around I'm not just gonna not do it obviously I'm probably gonna do a lot of the work um, just because you know they are my models and they're take you know I've, I have a big responsibility of making these so like I said if you're serious about this and you actually do want to learn these programs a little bit I'm not an expert on these I literally have just learned these recently but I do know like a lot of basic stuff that you can do in here um, so if you guys do want to do that and you want to learn how to make your own instructions in general um, I can actually show you just how to barely scrape by and get there and you can make your own instructions um, now if you want to learn an in-depth way of doing this now there's an in-depth way of learning this as well now um, basically this guy right here I have this playlist in the description um, this guy Martinus Wilhelmus Gronoff um, has made a five-part series of how to in detail make these instructions now there's a lot of stuff you can skip over you don't really need to know everything for this um, he actually uses a program called stud.io that I don't use um, I don't you know you don't have to use it but um, he does use it in these videos but he gives you a really nice breakdown of just how to do a lot of basic things so if you're really just learn, wanting to learn some basic stuff you can watch the part one of the video and then go through skip through some some of the parts and figure out how to do some of this stuff so um, I definitely recommend watching that if you do want to learn this so the third program uh, you don't actually have to get this um, but if you want to like I said I'll explain a lot more if uh, you are interested in learning this stuff and also helping me with this um, LDRAW is also a good program uh, it basically is a program where you can view these instructions um, now there's a lot more to it obviously like I said um, but if you're serious about it you can you know comment down in the comments below and we'll get a little team together try and make a lot of these Ninjago Mox instructions and we can actually allow people to build these things because it's uh it would be really cool for um, you know Lego's never really gonna make these sets and I do care about Ninjago a lot and it would be really nice for the fans to be able to have instructions for these things and be able to build them um, so I can uh, like I said you'll get first-hand views of the models that I have renovated and changed if you are part of this team you'll get to see what the sets look like now compared to how they did you know I renovated a lot of stuff with them and you'll get a chance to build the instructions for them and on top of it um, you will also get if you're part of this team you're gonna get full video shout outs and things like that you're gonna get full videos dedicated to you I promise you that because I know this is not easy work so if you guys are willing to do this um, I really would appreciate it and I think it would be a super fun time uh, for everyone to just get together and build these things and uh, you know ask each other questions and maybe we can even do live streams and things like that together of building these instructions and I'm sure it'll go by very quickly if we all work together um, so I'm looking for at least just a few people who want to take a, you know maybe a few hours off of one of their free days if they want to and uh, get to work on these with me um, even if it's one or two people that's okay with me um, but I'd really like to get to work on these now if you guys uh, actually I'll show you what the instructions look like at the end um, because I'm sure you guys are curious now I'm probably gonna upload these in a slideshow format on my channel in a video maybe with some background music or something like that showing all these so you, I can just command a right here and then I can do a slideshow and you can see how right now it actually shows the instructions right here of how to build and uh, it's actually pretty good it's not bad I changed all the angles of these so you can actually see what we're building goes in the correct order and uh, you know obviously um, there's gonna be some stuff along the way that we encounter maybe a few problems but like I said you know as long as you um, get used to it, it even says what part you're on you know and then, then it shows you're building a sub model 
Um, and there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this program. So it's actually very useful to know for your own information, regardless if you're going to help me or not. Um, so like I said, um, it's up to you guys. Um, I'm going to post this after I record it. It's technically a live stream, but um, I'm going to post this after I'm finished with it. Um, as a request video and I feel like there's a lot of people out there who really would like to build a lot of this stuff so if you're really intrigued with this and you really want to help me with it and actually get it done we can make it happen and uh, I'm really excited to get started on it so if you guys are willing to help even if uh, you know you request if I pay you or something like that that's not a big deal to me um, I can't really pay that much money but because I'm in college you know I gotta pay for my tuition and all that but you know, I'm willing to make do because I just, I really want to make these instructions for people. I feel like people have been asking for so long for these sets to be um, made. And let's just say I don't, I, we're not starting from scratch here. Um, I can actually show you guys what I have done so far. I have not just one uh, model complete. I have 12 different sets here, all fully 3D modeled within LDD. So all you guys would have to do is rebuild these within the 3D program. So basically it's just building a Lego set in a 3D program with instructions that are kind of tricky. So that's basically all you would be doing and obviously I'd be showing you how to use um, the LCAD program because there are some specific things you'd have to do along the way, um, such as creating angles. By the end of it, you actually have to go through every step and pick camera angles that you want through for your instructions. So by the end of that, then you'll send your files back to me. I will make the instructions, and even if you guys want to make your own, um, it's a bit tricky with the file um, with how you, you actually have to install other programs to make the instructions after. So I figured it'd be easier just for people to help make these 3D models and send them to me. So if you guys are interested, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate the help, um, and if you guys know anyone that would, any any tips or tricks or anything like that that I can know um, in terms of this stuff, let me know. But thank you for watching if you watched all the way through. Um, I'm making more videos soon. I've been working on the Studio Ghibli mocks lately, having a lot of fun with those. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, like I said, leave a comment down below if you guys would be interested in helping. So thank you very much.